Welcome back to Dark Souls, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! We're in a new setup. Yeah. Um, we're out of the we're tiny out. hobbit we, hole. We, 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 everybody. Don't say it. We came out of the closet. He loves that joke. <laughs> so my original. You knew that was coming the I whole know. time. I know. My original studio and where we were recording was a tiny little walk-in closet. No, the original studio when we started recording was in the corner of the room there, and next then, to the bed. And then we moved on a to desk, the closet. And then we moved into the closet. We went into the closet. Yes. And then we came out of the closet. And now we're free. And now we are free to be ourselves. On a little, yeah. Because, yeah. um. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't remember what, what we were doing here. What are you doing? Um, I came back to Majula because I bought the, I got the Ring of Binding. Oh, we have Ring of Binding. The thing we talked about for six episodes straight, every single episode, and then never got. Well, why do you take so long to get it? Because I just <laughs> did. Brightstone Cove of Eldora. Uh, second bonfire. Oh, right. Chapel something. We're going to go beat that spider. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. that's right. Because unfortunately for us, we've been so caught up in the Iron King's domain that we um, we only have one of the lords, one of the lord souls. Wait, what? I we thought only, we had we, like... No, we only have one of the great souls. Is this one of the great souls? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The big spider is one of the great souls, but there are still two more after that. One is in the Iron King's domain and one is down the big pit in uh, Majula. Uh, yeah, it's fun. No, it's not. It's really fun. Hiya! You done got him. Did it. You done got him. Oh, and I get to impress everyone with my mad hops again. I would have laughed if you died. I was actually really close to this. Uh -huh. um, right, and I want to go... That way. Oh, oh wait, no. Down? Not that way. Not that way. The other way. Yeah, you want to go that way. Okay. And yeah, you want to go down there. Oh, that's right. And then we go through here. Oh God, man, that's good soda and whiskey, mostly whiskey. Ah, uh, yes. What's our What's our drink today? Our drink is Jim Beam Double Oak, twice barreled. Twice barreled. They should. I still. <laughs> yeah. I still stand by. They should have called it Jim Beam Double Barreled. It is a very complicated name. I I don't know. I just Jim Beam Double Barreled would have been perfect, like a shotgun. Ugh. Come on. Come on, man. No. You didn't get him. He got away. And now that lizard farted on you. I like to think he more like bart like barfed at me. He barted at me. I don't know you. if that makes it any better, but uh, it, it All right. really doesn't. Thank you, safety wagon. Hi, spider people. Spider Man. Spider Man. Uh skitters around like a spider can. Not really, though. He just walks on two legs. Then, this mean, is a bad spot to be in. Are man. you sure that there's no other bonfire closer? I don't know. I mean, I would think that there would be, but then at the same time, like, think about it. You go right past this. Yeah. And then all the and spiders then through the one, well, Then through that one room, and then you're pretty much there. Yeah, but... I want to, like, spawn at the boss. I know, I know. So... And I thought that there was a bonfire right outside the boss door, but I might be thinking of a different I mean, I wonder game. if I can run past everything up oh, the you ladder. Oh, I, I did, remember? Did you? That one time, I ran past all the fucking spiders. But this guy. You just run past him. Uh, no, get up. I can't. You're gonna die. <laughs> no, I you're just, gonna... I give up. Nope, you're gonna die. It didn't take very long. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna play a drinking game, everybody. Um, Are we? So grab your alcohol, grab if, your alcohol. Make sure you have under, your alcohol in if hand. If you're under twenty one, don't grab, grab your milk. Grab <laughs> grab your milk. Why is I don't know? Do you just assume just, people go from drinking milk to straight whiskey? That's what I did <laughs> <laughs> at the tender age of thirteen. Oh my god. Um. So grab grab your alcohol and or beverage of choice, and uh, every time you feel a Ah. surging sense to numb yourself from the world take a drink i think i'll take one now i wish i could take one now mm. please where do my stamina uh, go i think i'll take another ah ah i can't see and another ah still skidding around like a real spider tasty was that a good swig yeah that was good that was a few good sips ha okay please thank you <laughs> <laughs> he just goes oh no oh I almost... You can take the zip line. Yeah, but it takes too long. You think I got that oh, kind of time? God, we have plenty of time. No. With yeah, no. how many times I'm going to die, I need to get from here to the boss as soon as... Speed running. I'm speed running Dark Souls. Don't you just you, don't know it don't yet. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't I dare tarnish the term <laughs> speed run? <laughs> no, this is just the longest speed run in existence in that case. I don't, I'm not really a fan of speed runs, to I, be honest. It depends on the game. Well, like, if it's a game... That's already played at a fast pace. So, for example, Sonic the Hedgehog or 
fucking Mario Brothers, for example. You know, like a Mario speedrun, a well done Mario speedrun, I can see being being a good, you know, well, like good... Mario Galaxy and stuff is very interesting to watch. Well, but see, here's the thing. Here's the thing that it boils down to for me is that most speedruns, it's about cutting corners and, you know, just shaving off the, you know, maximum amount of time, right? Yeah. Because you want your max time to be as low as possible. Well, a lot of the things in a game, like, so for example, Dark Souls, are meant to be, like, looked at and admired and the game is meant to be appreciated. A speedrun, you don't give a shit about any of that. That's All you true. care about is how fast you can get through the game. You know, you don't care about the boss design. You don't care about this, care about that. Uh, the only redeeming quality for speedruns in that respect is the fact that usually the person has played through the game probably like 200 times to that point. Well, that's what I was going to say. So, is, uh, a speedrun would generally come to a point when those things that you are meant to appreciate, have you've kind of gone numb to them. Yeah, you've already appreciated them. Yeah. But... But see, that's my that's my thing though is a lot of people watch these things oh. in lieu of playing the original game. Yeah, like if you your know? first instinct is to speed run something, then I mean that's obviously your choice to do with the game. But, yeah, uh, but at the same time, like, I feel like it know. does take away a certain aspect of it away. Yep, it takes away the uh, the pretty factor. And you know, with that being said, I think I'm gonna take another drink. Ah, no, why? I'm doing to so numb, well to numb myself from the world. See, it's just, honestly, this part that I'd like to get past. Yeah. Because it is a little, um... Oh, so remember how I mentioned uh, the, uh, the Gurm Great Axe? Yeah. I know how to get it now. Ooh, how? If, uh, if you want to get it, it's actually fairly easy. Okay. You find, uh, Gavlon. Okay. So you find Lonesome Gavlon. That's his full name, I guess. And, uh, you sell him, or buy him, 16,000, uh, souls worth of product. 16,000? 16,000. Okay. Not that much, considering, you know, you already have 4,000. Okay. But you can sell to him 16,000 worth of product, and then you talk to him and he just gives it to you. Oh. So if you want to go do that, we can do that on recording. Or we can do it in between episodes. Um, uh... Because the Gurm Great Axe, like I said, it's a double-bladed, so like the axes those guys throw at you, uh -huh. but you hold it like a regular hand axe. So instead of over your shoulder, you just hold it like a fucking badass and then See, swing it from side to side. That sounds... Oh, hello! Oh, hello! I just wanted to know what happened. Well... I was like, maybe it's a secret bonfire. No, it's a secret item with a pickaxe guy. A pickaxe-wielding maniac. Whoa! Holy whoa, shit! Whoa! Pickaxe, best weapon in the game. Farmer souls. With that, I need to drink. No, I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat him. Whoops. No, you're not. You don't know that. I'm pretty damn sure. You know, I'm not a betting man. But, uh... You see these moves? Ah. <laughs> Yeah, those those moves. Ah. You're like a guy playing DDR on easy. Uh, no. On easy. No. Excuse you, I was at one point very good. Oh, I could only ever play DDR on medium, so I'm not even I don't even have room to shit talk. I'm, I'm not one of those to... I'm not one of those maniacs who'd like put their hands on the back bar and their feet move like lightning. Oh. They look like the fucking flash. <laughs> Okay, let's go get that uh, Garum Ultra Axe of do you wanna whatever. Go, do you want to go get that on recording? I'm not making any progress here. Okay, so let's just let's just have some fun. Let's go get that real yeah. quick. Let's take a quick uh, scenic tour. I'm also wondering how, with our brand new setup sitting on this lovely couch, how we're going to time our recordings. I have thought that through, you know, and I did not prepare for it. You know, I think it's... I could just look at how long we've been recording audio. Because it'd be give or take a few seconds. Or we can use the phone timer right there. Stop fucking with the mic. No. Right there is fine. That works. Ignore the sound of me messing with the mic. Seriously. I tried to use it as a stand. His He he, he has the far more professional channel, and then I'm the guy that tells him to stop fucking with the mic. Okay, so Gavilon can be in one of three places. Okay. So I don't think he moves until you talk to him, but I'm not sure. So first we should check... Um, uh, um, no Man's Wharf. Okay. So go to No Man's Wharf, and it's going to be um, the... Uh, what? Oh. I thought I had more than this. No. Just there's the one bonfire in No Man's Wharf. Oh. Um, so it's going to be... Uh, remember the big building right where you ring the bell? Yes. It's going to be there. And since we unlocked the shortcut, we should be able to just walk right across the bridge and walk into that building and go up some stairs, and we should find him. Okay. Um, and it was this way. Uh, no. no. Other way. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Oh, the memories of this location. Oh, I know, right? Let's go back to uh, Hyde's Tower of Flame. 
Did we finish that area? Yes, we did. Oh, thank God. I no, actually, that. no, there's still a boss there. Still a boss there, which, you know, we could go do that if you want to kill some more time. No, I don't want to waste time. I just no, wanna... no, no, no. You were wasting plenty of time in Brightstone Cove Seldora. We can definitely go to uh, uh, um, uh, Hyde's Tower of Flame. Which, actually, speaking of Hyde's Tower of Flame, that's where I got the um, Ring of Binding. Oh. It was in the chest right outside the Dragon Slayer boss. Hey, this guy's or still just hanging out. Ladder. Yep, he's hanging out. He's just there. Which is kind of why I think that Govlon hasn't, mo- hasn't moved yet. Because I think he only moves when talked to. But I'm not sure. And I don't think we talked to him in my little speed run to try and get through the game. Whoops. I was checking to see what the bumpers or the grips did on this. Yeah, the little the, the paddles. Yeah. Um, the, the right paddle uses an item and the left paddle changes who you're locked onto or locks on. I thought that's what it was, but it wasn't working. But I might have just... Uh, the angle might not have been right for Yeah, it. it always goes to the right. Unless there's no target to the right, in which case it goes to the left. But you have to be able to lock onto the person. Yeah, go straight. Also, I do not remember it being this dark. Um, it might be the TV. Oh, it might be. It might be the contrast on the TV. Luckily, yeah. we're not recording from the TV. No, yeah. go back. Whoop. Go back. Turn okay. around. Uh, so it's going to be the building off to on the shore, basically. So you need to go to the shore. You know you could go light a torch. Well, I was going to light the... Because I have a butterfly. Don't use the flame butterfly. Just walk back over to the where you lit the torch before. Oh, okay. I can just yeah, and you can just set the or you can get the flame from there, and then you can set the light on all these things and just one of those things right here. Yeah, just pick it up there. Oh, nice. Yeah, which is I mean, it's a feature that I thought was really interesting. Is is kind of like hey, you can you know you can kind of checkpoint yourself as far as visibility is concerned. Yeah, I just wish they introduced it in more places. Well, and I mean, it's in two major, or a couple major places. This is one of them, where visibility can become a factor, because obviously there are enemies hiding all over the place. Yeah. So, no, you need to go back. I just wanted to like this. God damn it! Oops. This isn't Zelda. Well, what if there's a secret? They, is it, this isn't Zelda. Yeah, but what if it is? All I'm saying is... You're going the wrong way. Oh, that's... You don't want to go the other way. Yes, you need to go across the shortcut, and then, like, to the left... All right, so Go straight, and then to the left. All right, all right. Onto the shore. There you go, and then it should be in the building off to the right here. And I do remember I was able to just walk up and get this. Yeah, I mean, if you really want it. Oh hey. yeah, the yeah. human effigy actually. That's really good. Yeah. So uh, go not there. Go up the stairs. All right. Yeah, go up the stairs, and then he should be in. This is just going to be the fuck aroundy episode. No. no I mean, pretty much. No, we're making great progress. Uh, you're going to go in the building right up here. Right okay. here. So he should be in here. You should have to go like up some stairs Ooh. and shit. Yeah, the ninja guys. I was going to say, is that light really that important? And then it was. All right. Um, This one, I'm not sure. Okay. Ah, whoa. Ah, Another whoa. ninja. I keep, I keep like freaking out and pressing buttons <sighs> that I don't need to. That's just, that's you. That's you in a nutshell. That... <laughs> You're not wrong. No, I'm not wrong. And with that, I'll take another drink. No. <sighs> Just these leave guys, them alone. I know. I was going to say, these guys are cool. They're drunk and sad. Oh, no, wait. It's, uh, you need to be on the upper floor of that building, I think. Um, okay, so I can go. Or, yeah, go over this way and then in there. To the, right there. Oh, okay. Ow, man. I just got a pain in my head for some weird reason. And with that, I'll take another drink. Yeah. Oh, that's right. There's those creepy guys in... <laughs> Well, not these guys, yeah. but... And remember, kids, play along at home. Don't. I said with your beverage of choice. Yeah, there he is. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh I'm sorry. he fucking trimmed his beard right there. <laughs> he didn't even stop drinking. He was just like, oh, man. Well, because Gavlon knows that I'm no Finally, threat. death has come for me. <laughs> Gavlon! This is the first time we talked to him in this playthrough. It is? Yeah, because remember, we lost our save, so this is the technically the first time we talked to him. So, oh, because we sped ran through here. Yeah, we, we sped ran. Yeah, the sped, past. Uh, sped ran, my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, like I said, you can buy 16,000, uh, you know, souls worth of items from him, or you can sell 16,000 worth of souls. Okay. So we can just sell him a bunch of shit, and I can keep track on my handy-dandy little calculator here. God damn it, I keep getting Warframe alerts. Speaking of which, <laughs> I want to go home and play Warframe. You... Holy shit. 
You just done playing oh Dark Souls right oh, now? Just Warframe is so good. It is. Um, so we have a bunch of stuff. Your computer went black, and I want to make sure audio is still recording, which it is. Ah, I'll change um, my screen lock. Uh, so like all of those spears and all these items that we're not going to use, um, don't walk around. Oh my god, you and your goddamn trackpad. <laughs> Whee! So okay, so let me. I got the calculator up. So see all those spears and everything, and like the the swords that you're not going to use. Yeah. So these are my items. I mean, I can yeah. get rid of pikes and. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like that one for seven hundred, you can do that. Or so let's start with the one for one sixty. So do that one. Okay. And then plus two fifty. Plus two fifty. Plus two fifty again. Plus two ten. Plus seven hundred. So yeah. Just sell it. I've got so, the old knight halberd. Yeah, sell that shit. Five hundred. Yeah. So that's, we're up to 2,000. Do you we, want to keep the notched whip? Yeah. For kinky time in the bedroom? No, no more kinky time. Okay, God damn it. What's let's, the 600 one? What's that? Malformed claws? I would never use that. Okay, let's sell them. 600, right? Yeah. Cool. We're up to three grand. Um, I don't need two bows, so 105. Okay, cool. Plus 105. We're at 3.2. Got... So, um... The Blossom Kite Shield's good. That one's That one uh, gives you stamina back. Uh, are you going to use that great shield? The strength is 33. That's yeah. a little intense, but it would be nice. Um, just hang on to the shields for now. Um, go back up, though. Uh, that rapier right there for 200. Uh, rapier, rapier. Down. Right there. Oh, all right, 200. So that's 3,425. And then do plus 140, because I'm going to sell 270 items. Plus 140. Go that's... ahead and get rid of all those swords up to the one you have equipped. So that'd be plus 50, plus 40, plus 40. So plus 50, plus 80. Plus 170. Plus 170. That's 3,800. You can go to armor now. Whew, lots there of good go. stuff here. Okay, awesome. hold on. I can sell all these alone. Oh, Jesus homes. Christ. Yeah, those are like 500 a pop. So I'm selling one, two, three. So 1,500 right there. Okay. I have two Alon Knight armor sets. Oh, I would just so. sell all of it, because we're going to get more when we go back. Oh, okay. So that's another 500. Okay. And another 500. Okay. And, oh, I have Alon Knight gauntlet, so another 500. Okay. And then do 1,000, because I'm going to sell two more 500s. Okay. So we're at, like, 7,800. Whew. Um, this guy needs still, a lot of souls. Yeah, we said, well, Gavlon wants so many souls. Sell him the <laughs> sell him the Gurm armor right there, the one that looks like his helmet for five hundred and five hundred. So that's another the thousand Gurm right helmet? there. Yeah, sell both those. So that's another thousand. And what's the other one for five hundred? You have next to the creepy mask. Creepy mask. Creepy mask. Over to the left, in the middle. Oh, right there. What's that? Shadow gauntlets. Yeah, we don't need those. Okay, sell the creepy mask. Is that the ma ma mannequin mask? Yeah, okay. right there. And then um, the gloves and you have more going down. Dude. Yeah. Oh, that's all your stuff you have equipped. So what's the? Oh, that's the Drang Lake stuff, which was really good. Well, but Vengar stuff is way better. Should I just get rid of it? Yeah, we might as well. I mean, honestly, the armor I have right now is the best. I could sell most things. I don't. Yeah. So I mean, that's six hundred plus six fifty. So that's twelve fifty. All right, got it. So uh, we're at ten grand. Drangleic gauntlets are yeah four ninety and five fifty so yeah plus we just get rid of them five fifty man we're trying really hard to get this fucking uh, this thing <laughs> this right now better be like the best weapon. it's it's just gonna be so worth it you just know it will be um I mean just start at the top and just work your way down I guess should I just sell everything yeah just start selling stuff so plus uh seventy five and seventy five is one fifty so plus one twenty five. Plus 88. 88. Plus 45. 45. Plus 75. 75. 25. Plus 52. Whoops. 52. Okay. Plus 60. 60. 72. Okay, 72. 84. 84. 100. Uh, oh, whoops, I clicked a 7. Okay, 100. 200. Okay. 50. Uh-huh. 50. Okay. 50. Uh-huh. 380. The old ironclad gauntlets. Cool. 430. 430, 300. Oh, this is Royal Swordsman stuff. Should I keep or No, hell no. Get rid of that. All right. 300. 300. 300. That was two 300s? So put yep. another one? And then oh, another 300. All right. For that. Falconer armor. So that was your starting armor. So 150, 105. That's 255. 
255 plus 100. Yeah. So we're at 15. We just need another 1,000. So go to the weapons and then... Um... Well, I was wondering, is there... Um... Oh, wow. I mean, can I sell any of that? Go, go over to the one that says 1750. That's Wait, a petrified dragon bone. I have 1,500 twinkling tiny. No, 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 you have one. Oh, or that's you how have much two. it's worth. That's how yeah, much it's two. worth. So okay. sell the sell one of the petrified dragon bones and we'll be there. Do Plus I... 1750. Because you... You, you don't have anything that uses those right now. Or okay. actually, no, wait, a better Ooh. idea. Better idea. Go to the fire seeds over there. We're not using pyromancy. Oh. So sell... I only have one. Oh, shit. My calculator went away. No. Oh, it went No, we're good. Okay, so... 800. So plus 800. And then just go back to... Um... I can sell a... Yeah, Dinky just sell one. like that. Look at all these royal greatswords. Yeah, so sell 500. both of those just to be safe for 1,000. And then we should be well over 16,000. And I can so, talk to him. Then talk to him. Uh, okay. So after that... Talk to him again. Okay. I'm, I'm, I already looked. We're at like 16 minutes or so. No, 21 minutes. Oh, Sorry. Nice. Talk. All right. Oh. Maybe I need to exit the conversation. Yeah, maybe. Exit it out. Many deal, many thanks. Talk blah, to him blah, again. Blah, blah. Okay. No. Maybe, maybe need... he has to move locations. I know you can kill him for it, but I don't want to kill him for it. I mean, he doesn't sell it to buy. No, no, no. He's supposed to give it to you. Ring of Giants. Didn't we get this before? Uh, no, we got the other one. I think we bought it from him, though. If you want to buy it from him, you can. I forget what um, does it do. It's, uh, uh, races poise. Increases oh. your poise. Um, so what we can do is if you really do want to get this item, um, we can get him to move location to the... He'll probably just move to the Doors of Pharaoh since we've been there. We can try it. Yeah, go see if he ends up at the Doors of Pharaoh and see if All we can right. get it from him there. Let's see if I can use just a Homeward Bone. Episode fuck aroundy. No, this is going to be a longer episode because we're just trying to get an item. Okay, so Gates of Pharaoh. Uh, doors of Pharaohs. Well, first actually go to Harvest Valley. Go to Harvest Valley, the poison uh, area. Green oh, right, right, poison right. area. Yeah, go to Harvest Valley, the poison pool. And then we'll check to see if he's in a second area. And if he's not, then we'll know he moved to Doors of Pharaohs. Okay. Is this place easier to get to? Mm hmm. Okay. So, that's right, this little cave here. All right. Oh, nope. Don't want to drop down there. So, um, are you are you looking up where he is? Yeah, it says. Uh, no, I know, I know. He's he's down there in the poison area in that cave dead ahead. Oh, yeah, he's in there. Right. So it says he will gift you the Grim Great X after purchasing fifteen thousand souls worth of goods from him and selecting talk. Selling goods works as well. So, I didn't see him in here. He'll be like in a room off to the side. Oh, okay. So look up right in there. Oh, he'll be like in this room. Yeah, hey! so there he is. Talk to him. Goblin, know you. So talk. What the fuck? Maybe we didn't give him as many as we thought. No, because you have nineteen thousand souls right now. And I had zero when we yeah, started. Yeah, so I mean, you have you have quite a lot. Um, yeah, I think he has to be in his like final area. You go home. Oh. So so go back to the bonfire again. Okay. Or maybe we do have to buy. See, that's the problem with Dark Souls, though, is you can't just quick save and then quick yeah, load. Yeah, you've got to, like, go back and... Yeah, so at least get him to his final area, and then if he doesn't do it, we can just buy a bunch of poison moss from him. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, at least you took us to this area first where it's really quick. Yeah, and then the doors of Pharos, we have to go... Um, remember the big spiral staircase area? So we can actually backtrack from the area that that goes into... Okay. Which I don't remember what area that goes into, so let me see. Doors of Pharos. Um so it is Brightstone Cove Seldora. So go to Brightstone Cove Seldora, the very first bonfire in it. Oh. Brightstone. Yeah, Brightstone Cove Seldora. Okay. The, the very... first bonfire. Okay. And then backtrack from there. And okay. it should get us there faster. Okay. Very nice. Ha! 
this item better be worth it. It's just so cool. Okay. Because, I mean, it's a bigger... Okay, so, so we backtrack, so yeah. go that way. And then we should be really, really close. Buy awful pigs. Oh, God, awful pigs. <laughs> when, are, when are we going to have an awful pigs t-shirt? I don't know, when I can afford it. Yeah, you know, remembering those awful pigs? Yeah. It, it makes me want to numb myself from the world, so I'm going to have another drink. I'll join you in those awful pig... Mm, here, cheers. Clink. It's a satisfying mason jar clink. There he is. Hey! No, that's not him. Ah, ah. I was betrayed. Yeah. Okay. You thought it was him. Uh, keep going. Keep keep going. Keep that's going. not him either. No, that's not him. This he's is in a big round room. I think he's right through here. Because remember the guy that throws axes at you? That guy? Yeah. So that's what the Gurm Great Axe looks like. Nice. Is that big ass axe right there. Yeah, not headbutting your axes now. Oh God, that everybody <laughs> remember that? Yeah, does everyone? I uh, just rolled into it and yeah, headbutted seriously. that axe. Do you still have that footage? Mm, no. Oh, I was gonna say if you did, I was gonna be like future mana built. Put that footage up on the screen. With a little <laughs> flashback for us. Um, a little flashback to when you headbutted the axe. Um, so he should be right there. Nice. So now he'll stay here permanently. So talk to him. Hmm. Uh, okay, so talk to him one more time. Okay, so let's just buy a bunch of shit from him. Okay. So you have to buy, let's say, let's just make it 16000 to be safe, so that costs the most, so just buy as much of that as you can. Plus it's useful. 18000 there you go. Cool. All right. Cool, and then talk to him. Whoop. Yes, there we go. Much, much deal. So I guess when people said you can sell him items, they meant you can just bulk up on souls by selling it and then buy things Well, back. no, I think they made... See, there you go. Gurn Great Axe. Nice. Equips that fucker. Yep, we go home. Okay, so... See it? Hold up. Right next to the Gurn Axe. <gasps> they look really similar, but... Yeah, so oh, you need it's... 50 strength. How much strength did you need for the Gurn Axe? 20. 20. Oh, no. So, so equip the Gurn Great Axe just to, just to equip it. Oh, my god <laughs> yeah is that ridiculous or what oh my god but my skills are so not there strength I only... we have 30 yeah but i need 50 that was, i mean oh no i want it now yeah oh i mean i Yes. I mean, look at so look at the the Gurmax. So the Gurmax is plus uh what? It's plus eighty five. No, it's 80? plus five. So its base damage is two hundred five. Yeah. Right? So go over. Oh, it's equal. No, my oh, no, no, no. Wait, equip the Gurmax. Okay. Sorry. Now go to your equipment or uh, your equipped area. Go go out of that. Okay. So the Gurmax is two eighty uh two eighty five plus. Okay. So it's two eighty five base damage. Uh huh. Plus a modifier. Yeah. That that is base two oh five and it's not even upgraded. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Because this is plus five that it got to this. Yes, so that's plus safe. Well but isn't the plus one fourteen from the... No, that's a that's a bonus. I'm talking about like we've upgraded it five times. Okay. And it's two eighty five. We haven't the Gurm Great Axe isn't upgrade upgraded at all, and it's already two oh five base. Nice. So yeah, so go back to the Red Rust Sword and then let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. I think that probably does it for this very... This will be like a bonus episode. Let's, yeah. let's treat it like a little bonus episode. 44, episode 40-something point five. 43. It's, 43. It'll still be 43, but it's a longer episode. We've been going for, what, 30 minutes? Oh, I have no fucking clue. Let me check. Yeah. Yeah, right about 30 minutes. All right. Well, there you go. We hope you enjoyed this special episode of Dark Souls. We... Guess, guess, guess where we're going next. Where are we going next? Hides Tower of Flame. Wait, why? I thought we were fighting the spiders. No, we're going to Hides Tower of Flame. What's in Hides Tower of Flame? There's a boss there. Is it one of the major bosses? Yeah, not really, but there's a boss there. Oh. Uh...